Hey, what's up? In this video, we're going to talk about exporting camera and position data from Blender to After Effects. All right, so let's look at getting camera and object data out of Blender into After Effects. Now, this is one that actually kind of confused me for a little bit because at one point, this add-on that allows you to do this was included in Blender, but apparently in the official build, they have removed it, so you need to go find the add-on and install it yourself, which I'll walk you through right now. So um, this is a silly, stupid little render that I made just to kind of show what you can do with, uh, you know, the communication between Blender and After Effects. So we'll throw something like this together real quick. So the first thing you want to do is go to this website. I'll put the link in the description, and this is the Blender add-on repository. And this is where you can find the add-on that allows you to do this. So here you want to click on this link, raw file, and that allows you to download the file. Okay, you can download it anywhere you want, and then you need to install it in Blender. So it's a Python file, by the way, not a zip, which confused me at first, but all you need to do is go to install, and you can select the, um, the, the Python file that you just downloaded and click install add-on. And it'll show up in your list of add-ons here. Now, I couldn't find it at first, and that's because you actually need to be in the community tab. And if you just type in JSX, it'll show up there and you can click the little button to enable it. I know, you know, this is a pretty basic thing that most people at this point know how to install add-ons, but I had a little trouble finding it, so I figured I'd just go through it real quick. Okay, so what this add-on does is it takes all of the object data and camera data from your file and converts them to a format that After Effects can understand, okay? So just to show you uh, what I have in this scene so you know what all is getting converted and going over to After Effects, I have our little default cube just jumping around. I have a empty that I've named Null Master that is controlling the jump. And I have a second empty, this one right here, that is parented to the first one that I just stuck on the face of the cube to get the location data so we can stick something there in After Effects. I also have a light and I have two cameras, okay? And the cameras are switching from cam one to cam two, which I showed you how to do in the other video that I loaded today. So that's all the data that I have here. I'm gonna select everything with uh, the A button. Okay, and I'm gonna go to File, Export, and very, at the very bottom you have Export um, to Adobe After Effects JSX. So if you click that, you can save that file wherever you want. So I'm gonna save it um, on my desk, in this desktop folder here. Hit Export, and what that does is it gives you this JSX file, okay? Now, to get that into After Effects, all you have to do is open up After Effects and go to File, Scripts, Run Script File, okay? And you double click on that uh, JSX file that you just exported and it's gonna ask you to name the new composition that it's gonna create. I'll just leave it at default, okay? So we'll open up that composition that we just created and you can see all of this inside of the composition. All right, so let's look at these layers. It brings in both of our cameras. It also brings in a combined camera that has the switching in it between cam one, cam one and cam two, which is super nice. So I'm gonna disable the two uh, cameras up there and just leave active camera, which has that switching in it, okay? You got the point light, you got all the nulls. So you also have to render out your scene in Blender, which I already did. So I'm going to drag that into the composition. And you can see, zoom out here, that all of those nulls and cameras stick to the scene just as you would expect that they would. Now the rotation on some of these nulls is a little 
off. Uh, I guess there's a difference in how Blender and uh, After Effects calculate rotation. Probably has to do with Blender having the up axis as Z, uh, but that's okay. We can fix that really easily. Um, so let's go ahead and stick that silly little eyeball comp to this cube. So I'm going to drag it in and I'm going to make it a 3D layer. And you're going to see right away that it turns completely black. That's just because we have this point light in here and we don't need that. So I'm going to disable it. All right. So we have our 3D eyeball layer and I'm going to shift pick whip it to the null label, which is the, the null that's on the front of the object. Okay. And you can see that there's where we, we see the uh, difference in rotation. So I'm going to take that null label and I'm going to fiddle with the rotation here to get it to sit right. So I think negative 90 degrees. We'll go to that eyeball and we'll scale it down a little bit. Looks like that rotation. You can see that the the squash and stretch is, is a little bit off on that eyeball. Again, that's because of the difference in how they calculate rotations. So we'll fix that. I believe this just needs to go back negative 90. And you can see that the coordinates on that null are correct now. You have the Y facing upward and the X facing left and right. And then the Z is correct as well. So now that squash and stretch is working and the eyeball is sitting very nicely on that cube. And obviously, like in my dumb little render here, you can bring in uh, 3D text and it will stick there um, because the camera uh, data has been exported correctly. So that's it. I mean, that's it's it's really that simple to get camera and object data out of Blender into After Effects and you can do all kinds of stuff with this. I use it all the time. I do most of my text in After Effects as opposed to Blender and this really helps out with that a lot. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.